We have ourselves some updates on The Nun 2, Terrifier 2, and Halloween Ends. Let's get into all of it. Well, sometimes that is better. Hey everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Just like that guy in the intro was talking about, we'll be talking about The Nun 2, Terrifier 2, and Halloween Ends all in a second here, and maybe there's something I just listed that you don't really give two craps about. Well, guess what? There's little chapters at the bottom of this video where you can skip around to wherever you want. Before you start skipping around, though, I would greatly appreciate you guys liking this video and subscribing for more horror content in the future, because if you don't, I will cry into a plate of spaghetti tonight, and it'll be your fault. So the last time we were talking about The Nun 2, the only thing we really had to talk about was the big announcement and this crazy casting call they had for the movie. But now we have some cast members joining the team against the nun, and we also have the lady who's playing the nun back on board, baby. In The Nun 2, from director Michael Chaves, who of course did Curse of La Llorona and The Conjuring the Devil Made Me Do It, Taysa Farmiga will be back for this sequel, as well as Bonnie Aarons and newcomer Storm Reed. The first plot synopsis for Nun 2 reads, 1956 France. A priest is murdered and evil is spreading. The the sequel to the worldwide smash hit The Nun follows Sister Irene as she once again comes face to face with the demonic force Valak, the Demon Nun. The Nun 2 is written by Akella Cooper, who wrote the screenplay for the absolute breakout hit last year, Malignant, and arrives in theaters next year on September 8th of 2023. So this is really exciting stuff. Not only do we have two of our characters coming back, I mean, yet you kind of have to have Bonnie Aarons. How do, you, how do you make a Nun film without Bonnie Aarons? Come on! But I am really happy to have Taysa Farmiga back on board as well, and Storm Reed from Euphoria. I'm really rooting for this movie. I wasn't the biggest fan of The Nun when that came back out. I've since come around to it a little bit, but overall I'm hoping that this sequel tops the original in every facet because the Conjuring franchise could use a win right now. Getting into a Terrifier 2 update, we have just gotten yet another clip from this movie showing us some more things that Art the Clown can do this time around. Some supernatural abilities that he's able to possess in Terrifier 2 in a brand new clip. It appears as if Art the Clown has fatally maimed this man in this clip, which is uh, I'm sure is going to be an amazing battle when we finally see it on screen. But the other thing that's really interesting about this clip is that Art the Clown appears to also be very injured as well and he's just totally fine he's just laughing it off he's having a fucking blast basically painting his name on this mirror with his own blood as we've been talking about in the past couple terrifier 2 updates we know that art the clown is going to be a little supernatural in this new installment i mean we've seen the guy basically run his own show in this crazy dream world in the last clip something else is going on here and to me this is more proof of that his brain is exposed out of his skull and the guy is just fucking vibing here he's having a great time Time. He's probably also the only person in this entire film to have a great time. <laughs> I'm very excited to see Art the Clown basically transform into Freddy Krueger this time around, but the other thing that's really exciting about all this is they're showing us this as like, oh, you know, this is just a throwaway scene from the movie. Oh, a little bit of blood and gore doesn't even compare to anything else in the movie. So that is also very exciting to me about how confident they are to show us something this crazy in just a clip before we even see the movie. That tells me that there is crazier stuff to behold once we actually see the film, on October 6th, or maybe you've already seen it, to which I would say, please don't leave any spoilers down in the comments below. I will be seeing it Thursday, then we can talk spoilers all you want. But not until then, so help me God. The link for this clip is in the description below as well. If you want to see the full thing, it is nasty. And getting into a big Halloween Ends update, we have 10 brand new photos. Not like one or two, 10. So now let's talk about them. This is a photo from a scene we have already seen in the movie in another yet, yet another photo that I reported on a little earlier on. This appears to be an older woman, maybe in her 40s, getting attacked by Michael Myers, and in the other picture we got of her that I was talking about, you know, literally a second ago, we see her covered in blood and basically on the brink of death, so I don't think she's living through this. We also got a sequence in the trailer where you can see, like, a bunch of feathers coming out of a pillow, which, as you can see, is once again displayed in this photo, so I'm assuming that scene is from this sequence. We get this hilarious picture of Hawkins just, like, I really don't even have anything else to comment on there. Like, there might be something else to comment on, but I just can't stop looking at Hawkins, who is staring into my fucking soul here. God damn. We get another shot of Allison, which is nice, because like I've been saying, she hasn't been featured too much in the marketing, kind of like Kyle Richards' uh, Lindsay Wallace character hasn't been featured too much either. I wonder what role they'll play in this movie. Maybe it's not as significant as that of, like, Lori, Hawkins, Michael, Corey, yada, yada. We'll just have to see on October 14th, though. This shot of Corey Myers here, probably not Michael Myers, 
players, because as we talked about in a previous update, this whole junkyard scene, I'm kind of starting to speculate that maybe this is Cory killing all these kids here. Why? Once again, I don't really fucking know. You gotta, gotta ask the writers on that one. Another context clue about that is that Michael appears to be shorter here. It's kind of tough to say because it looks like you have this kid character trying to help his friend who is underneath all of this, uh, like, fencing here who's trapped. So I can't really tell how tall he is, but he does appear to be shorter than regular Michael. Or, you know, actual Michael, I should say. This is just a dope shot of Michael, followed by another dope shot of Michael, followed by yet another dope shot of Michael. Are you trying to tell me these aren't dope shots? shots because they are in fact dope. Here's a picture of Lori Strode after she just realized she shat her pants. Here's our dream team, Corey and Lori, who I'm speculating may team up to take down Michael at some point in this movie. A lot of people are speculating Corey is this just bad guy with nothing else but evil intentions. I feel like the reason we get all these shots of him and Lori together in this scene is because maybe he's pitching some kind of whack plan to take down Michael that Lori's just not all about. Just my theories though, I know some people have spoiled this movie for themselves on Reddit, and once again, just please don't put that in my comment section, I would greatly appreciate that. The final shot here though is probably the most interesting because we get Lori and Lindsay standing next to a cop who I'm assuming is pulling away from this situation. Lori looks like she's a little concerned here but she doesn't look like she just came out of a battle. Okay so I'm editing this video and I'm looking at this picture and it literally just hit me that this may be a flashback to 2018 that night maybe and maybe Lori actually did get out of the hospital at some point during that night and made it all the way out to the Myers house where she finds her daughter dead. Because in the original take that I had I had pitch that maybe this was a part of Halloween ends like during 2022 where this movie is set to take place and like this is maybe a, a fake call or something is what I had said initially uh maybe Corey was stalking her house as Michael Myers something crazy like that but now I'm starting to think that this could be a flashback to the night where she found out that Karen was dead and her daughter had died to the hands of Michael Myers that would be so messed up to see that actually happen in the real time when she finds out not just four years later when she's getting over it that might delve into territory where they're over explaining things that don't need to be explained or like showing things that don't need to be shown but I think this could hold some power towards this story that is all about Lori overcoming all of the tragic shit she's experienced in her life because now this is the latest awful addition to it so this may be that but also don't forget in kills like Lori is pretty badly beat up man I mean she had a fight with Michael Myers at the end of 2018 that she is still suffering from in the events of kills so if this is a flashback to Halloween 2018 again I just don't know if she's gonna be able to make it out of the hospital but like this scene just screams that ending of kills. I'm pretty sure it was Jamie Lee Curtis who had already said the opening scene is specifically about this Jeremy Kidd character who I don't think is going to be living past that sequence, but I would like to see a flashback maybe at some point in this movie. That could be kind of cool if it's purposeful. But like I said, that could tread some ground where it's like, why was this necessary? So hopefully that's not the case if they do a flashback. Hopefully it's something that does make sense. This could be that. Also, look at uh, Laurie Strode's hair. It's just a little different than how it is in some of the new ends photos specifically. This looks much more like her look in Halloween 2018 or Kills. But what do you guys think about all of these updates and what thing are you the most excited for? Because we got Terrifier 2 coming this week as well as Halloween ends next week. And then like I was talking about with The Nun 2, all the way next September, we're getting that puppy. What are you the most excited for? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this brand new horror update video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content in the future. If you want to support this page further, you can support me on Patreon or become a channel member by clicking that join button on my page. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.